Turn on the radio. I started exorcisms when I was pretty young, young really. Um, my father was a preacher. Every preacher needs a, a son to keep up the tradition of the Holy Church. Um, you know, bring the people in, and frankly, get their money. The church doesn't run on love, you know. So I needed to carry on the act, if you like. As I say, he started training me fairly young. And uh, one day, surprise, he had me come up and do one of the services. And through that, I took over his role and now lead the church. Big sort of trefoils, the gothic style arch. Beautiful, really, but not very much for effect. All sets the scene. Awe, awe and splendor. Not very serious. Basically, exorcism is the religious practice of evicting demons or other spiritual entities from a personal place, which is believed to be possessed. It could be a person. It could be simply an object, to be honest. So we've got a set of these here, all lined up. They're not in the original situation, of course, but um, you've got this one, almost no markings whatsoever. This one is standard big paint, etc. It's probably supposed to be about three or four other people involved. This, this is more like it. This is the standard stuff, the stuff you're likely to see all the time. Deeply inscribed, kind of stuff you really want to see. Um, they've also cut down the tree to actually put it in here. 
But also we've got this here. Slightly out of place with the rest of these, but still awesome. Awe and power. Having said that, they've had to take down half the barriers for it. Makes a change. We have to put barriers up these days. The story of Lucifer is that um, Lucifer was indeed a, an angel. Uh, people say he was uh, the choir master. It's the closest term we have. And, um, but he wanted to raise himself closer to God. In the end, he wanted to praise himself. So he was cast out by God. He took about a third of the angels with him. And those become your demons. And that, that's the, the basic story, really. The, the souls of men being fought over. You know, God wants you to turn towards his light. Satan wants your souls. The Bible is full of demons. You can't believe in God without believing in demons. Jesus himself was an exorcist. So if you're a Christian and you believe in Jesus Christ, you have to believe in demons. Exorcism is uh, alive and well and in the present day. Um, most people think of it as being a phenomenon of the medieval ages. Uh, that it's gone away and Science has cured it. It's never gone away. Exorcism is as big as ever. The Vatican used to have 20, 25 authorised exorcists. Now it has, well, more than 300. And those are only the ones they're telling us about. And you know they're not telling us everything. Do you believe in ghosts? No, I don't actually believe in demons, no. Uh, but when I deliver exorcisms, I make it look like I do. It's not like I see ghosts or any other paranormal sightings. It's all one big show. So you're a fraud? That's your words, not mine. I'd like to picture myself as being an entertainer of the church. God's cause, of course. What I really want to do is expose exorcism for the scam that it is. And that's why we're making this documentary. Uh, what I thought we'd do is uh, follow one of these letters, see where it goes, and uh, you can come with me and film all behind the scenes. Uh, some people are uh, fully convinced that they're uh, dealing with some kind of possession, uh, something of that nature. I believe that I'm dealing with the devil himself. State of the house being controlled, continuous, 